everyone welcome back to my channel I have been wanting to do a review type video for a while now and I guess I just keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off because I like to do hauls but I finally have decided to sit down and do a review style video before I get into that I just want to remind you that I am currently doing a giveaway the day that I'm going to be calling out the the winners is going to be here soon on Monday July 18th so please make sure to get to the video that says I'm doing a giveaway and get yourself entered to win. What you need to do is watch that video, like that video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and leave a comment on that video. There were three things that's listed in the description of that one. It's um, what is on your wish list currently for from the Dollar Tree and or what is something that you always buy from the Dollar Tree and or what items do you like that I haul during that video. You don't have to answer all three. You could just do one, you can do two, or you could do all three, whichever you prefer. So please head over to that video. Make sure you're subscribed, you like that video, and you leave that comment so you're entered to win my giveaway. I'm super excited to get that all put together and sent out to somebody or two because I'm gonna choose two winners. So make sure you do that. And now, without going on and on and on about my giveaway, let me go ahead and get into this review post or video. Um, I see a lot of people do like empties type things, and I would say this is like an empties, but not everything's empty. It's just kind of more of a review of things that I've either been using or I tried and I didn't like it, and some of it is empties. So I really try to focus on Dollar Tree products. I know we get really excited a lot when we find name brand products at the Dollar Tree, but we can also find name brand products a lot of other places. I will say though, I also, I have makeup. I have um, hard candy makeup and some Wet n Wild and stuff that I was going to add into this, and that's because it's still the stuff that's current that we could still find in stores. And I know sometimes it's nice to hear what people think about the things that we can find in stores while we're still looking and get kind of an input. And I also want to say that this is my opinion and my opinion only. If you have a different opinion, I would love to have you leave a comment down below of what your opinion of some of these items are because that just helps give even more feedback to people who want to buy stuff. That if it's something that I absolutely love but you, you know, didn't get along with it, I think that's, you know, great. Well, not that you didn't, it didn't work for you, but that you think, you know, you feel something different and that gives um, other viewers a option to see other people's viewpoints on things. So if you have tried any of these items and you think something completely different than I do, please leave that in the comments below. So I do have a lot of health and beauty and then I have some kitchen and some like laundry type stuff to review during this. And so I would just, you know, let me go ahead and get started in it. Some of it I have things that I'm gonna compare with one another. So there are different items that do the same purpose that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And so um, I can compare them. And so I'll first I'll start with shave creams. So I have three different shave creams here that I have picked up at the Dollar Tree. And I have tried all three of them. One of them is empty, the others are not. So I will start first with this one. So this is the Chic, or no, the Power Stick. Power Stick for her, Sensitive Skin Shave Cream. It states with coconut oil and shea butter. It doesn't have much of a smell, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it doesn't really have a smell at all. Like, it is completely scentless. Sorry, got a tickle in my nose. Um, I didn't like this at all. I used it like twice, I think. I don't feel like it gives enough anything on my legs to like really shake, give a really good shave. I feel like it's really watery, and I didn't like it. So this is pretty much close to full. I won't probably be continuing to use it. I just was not a fan at all of this. I will then say, oh, and I have my Dollar Tree basket bucket here, and that's where I'm gonna put everything, because I love these, all these, all their baskets and buckets. I will say then I used both of these. So this one, this is the Personal Care Super Smooth Shave Shave Cream in Pomegranate and Raspberry, and it says compared to EOS Shave Cream. So this one isn't like a shaving cream, it's like a cream, like kind of like a lotion or body wash kind like type of cream when you use it, but it's thicker and I, I like this one. I don't think it's my favorite, but I also will use it. I bought two when I picked this up because I was hopeful that I would like it, and I do, I'll use this. 
and it's not like a shaving cream because you know the shaving cream comes out more like a foam so this one is more like a foam and so this is different than that it's like kind of a lotion or body wash but it's thicker and it stays on your legs and it doesn't like bubble up like body wash does but it stays like that thick like creamy kind of consistency and so I liked this this one gave a nice clean like filling of a shave and so this one I'll continue using and I will get through the two that I purchased and then there's the pure silk this is what you can always find at the Dollar Tree and they have this one with the coconut and oak flower I love coconut so you might see that as a theme with some of my stuff and then they have the sensitive skin one I think that one's kind of like a light green color and I think the other one is a raspberry so it's got like the pink color and this one's my favorite but I think all three are great I've used all three before and this is my favorite so this is my go-to it's the one that I'm gonna always pick over the other flavors or the other you know shaving creams I like the foam it's what I think I prefer just to shave with so that's why it's my viewpoint is I think I prefer that foam filling versus like the cream but the cream of the EOS is good and the other one's just way too watery so that is my viewpoint on these so this is a continue buy like I buy this over and over and over again I did see this one in a different flavor and I don't know what flavor it was it might have been green or blue the other day when I was shopping but since I bought two of these I didn't pick that up but I would purchase this again if this turns into a regular item at Dollar Tree I'd, I'd buy it again because I, I do like this one so that's my viewpoint on those and then another comparison is lotions so I have the Dermacell and this is like a sensitive skin original lotion dry dry skin treatment it says con controls even severely dry skin and this is a regular Dollar Tree item I've seen this there for a long time they now have a hand wash in this brand and I love this I think it is just creamy enough maybe slightly watery I think it could be a little bit like denser and creamier but overall I really like this this is my daily use lotion I did just haul this and so I haven't used it a lot I've just used it one time to be honest so far but I love the smell of it and I like the feeling of it so this I really like and I would repurchase this and I saw from someone else's haul they said that it reminds them of the Jergens almond cherry lotion and I would 100% agree with that it has a really good smell to it where this one's more of an unscented lotion this one just smells really good when you use it and so both of these are a win I will continue to use both of these and I'd probably pick this up again too even though this is my normal go-to this one with the smell it just smells really good I really like it a lot and then similarly but a little bit different is this it's the power oops power stick hand no foot and heel cream with jojoba aloe and shea butter this I do like so I didn't like the shave cream but I do like this foot and heel cream I do think it's a little bit watery but I think it's like it soaks in really well and it does make my feet feel really soft when I use it on them so this is one that I would buy again and I would use again and, and I've been using it it's probably about half full because I've been using it regularly at night like when I lay down to go to bed I put lotion on my arms and my legs and then I've been putting this on my heels and my feet so I like this one I mean I don't I'd, I'd buy it again if they didn't carry it I probably wouldn't be too sad I would just return to just using my lotion on my feet but I like it it's not it's not a heck no you know type of thing um one thing that I don't like at all is this it's the salon selectives frizz control leave-in soothing like so it's like a leave-in conditioner I don't like it I feel like it feels really heavy in my hair it weighs down my hair it gives it kind of a I'm not, I didn't use it today but it gives it kind of like a, a feeling like I feel it when I use it and it's not just like a soft feeling so I didn't like this I used it a while back I probably never hauled this one because I had this prior to me doing hauls and I used it I didn't like it and then as I came back I circled back around I tried it again and I still don't like it so this is a no for me I haven't been able to find a leave-in conditioner that I like from the Dollar Tree if you have any suggestions let me know because I do like to use a leave-in conditioner in my hair but this this is a no I don't like it maybe because I don't have really curly and frizzy hair maybe it needs like a thicker hair for that maybe mine's just too fine and maybe that's why it gives it that feeling but for me it just it doesn't work from for my hair at all sticking on hair care I just recently hauled this shampoo and conditioner from the Dollar Tree I have now used it several times and I absolutely love it this is probably one of my new favorite shampoos and conditioners 
I hope they continue to carry it because I will continue to use it. One, the smell of it is so good. It is hydrating coconut and both of them have a beautiful coconut smell. I love both the shampoo and conditioner, the scent that I have from them. The shampoo lathers up so nicely. And then this conditioner actually kind of lathers too, which is different to me. I feel like none of my conditioners typically kind of have the same lather feeling to them. They kind of like soak in and you kind of lose it a little bit. Where this one, I could feel that I'm putting it into my hair. It leaves my hair soft. It leaves my hair just feeling so nice. It's what I used today. I've used it like the last several days. And I, I love it. Like, I love this stuff. This will be my new go-to. So again, I hope that this is one that the Dollar Tree continues to carry over and over and over again. I looked it up and it's not like a Dollar Tree brand. I believe it's a name brand. And you could find this on like Amazon and stuff for significantly more money. And so finding it for a dollar each of the Dollar Tree seems like a really good deal. So please, Dollar Tree, keep these because I absolutely love these. These are a win for my hair. And again, I know hair types are completely different, so they might not be a win for your hair. But for me, these have worked. I love them. I do recommend giving them a try because what's the worst that's going to happen? You spent $2 and it didn't work for your hair, but these are great. Love them. Something else that I love are these. So I have this one that I've used and then this one that's new in the package. And I can't find them. I've been looking because I think it's a name brand product, not a Dollar Tree product. I'd seen them regularly for a while and then now I haven't been seeing any of the body benefits stuff. So I'm trying not to do too much on like the name brand things that you don't see, but if you still see these at the, your store, let me know because that gives me hope that maybe my stores will have them again someday because this is my last one and I don't want to open it and use it because I'm going to be really sad. So I love this. I, when, I'm in, when I'm in the shower, I use a, a cleanser on my face and then I use this to kind of, I let it, the cleanser sit on my face and then I use this to kind of um, exfoliate a little bit because it's super soft, but it's just enough and it just feels so nice and it, it, I just feel like it gives me my face such a nice clean. So this one, I mean, it's, you know, no one wants to see a dirty sponge, but you know, it's used, it, it gets flatter. This green side, I'll be honest, I didn't use the green side all that much. I don't really know the purpose of the green side, but I do like this side a lot. So this one is a big winner, but I'm really sad because I haven't found it. So again, if you are still seeing this in your stores, let me know because then I, I can have hope that maybe they'll come back and maybe they're just out right now. I will probably actually look for them other places to see if I could find them anywhere else since my stores don't seem to be carrying them anymore because I like them that much. So that one was a good win. Other facial kind of cleansing scrubber things are these and these are both Dollar Tree brand ones. This comes in a pack of three, I believe. I think it's like a microfiber sponge cloth thing and then this one comes in a package of two and I always see it with the pink one and the green one in a package and I didn't like either of these all that much unfortunately. I did see someone, Simple Life, go see her channel. I like her channel a lot. She's seen from someone else that you can use these as dry erase mark or dry erase marker erasers which I think is a great idea. I think that they'd work really well for that and I would purchase them for that but I don't like them for my face. So not a big fan. It's got this side that's kind of more the exfoliating side and then this side that's kind of that like washcloth side and I don't know. It just didn't work. I don't really have a big reason why. I just didn't like it. This I feel like didn't really do much at all. So it's got little, I don't know, nubs on it if you can see that in the camera. And I, I tried and I used it for quite a while and I just, it reminds me kind of of the lip ones actually. There's Dollar Tree sells the lip scrubber brush thingy and it kind of reminds me of that with the silicone. I just, I didn't, I didn't love it. I didn't feel like it did a lot. What it does for me though, what I've been using it for is in my shower when I have my razor sitting on like the the holder, you know, that hangs over your your shower. It's the one from Dollar Tree actually. So it's got that shelf that would be for soap, but I don't put bar soap there. I put a lot of other things. I use this to hold my razor up because it's got like, you know, the slits in it so my razor doesn't fall through. So this, like I set it through there and then the bottom of my razor sits on this and it keeps it on there. So I've been using it, but not for the purpose of washing my face. Just not, not a fan of either of these, but let me know if these are something that work really well for you because I'd love to hear other people's opinions on that. But for me, that other one is absolutely the best and I haven't been able to find it. Continuing on on face washers, I have this. So this one's still new in package. This one has been used several times and they just wash so nicely. So this is basically the dupe for the makeup eraser. So at night, I use this to get all my makeup off of my face. 
and it works so well. So I use this, I get all my makeup off, it gets all my mascara off. It's a little bit harder with waterproof mascara, but if you're not wearing waterproof mascara, I think it works great. So I love, love, love this, love it. I actually have right here too in front of me the one that I picked up from Five Below. It's dirty, you can see some of the mascara down here. I used this one last night. And I will say, I think I like the Dollar Tree ones better. I will give this more tries. I've only used it once so far but I think I like the Dollar Tree ones better. I know that they're a lot smaller and you're, you know, you're not going to get as many uses, but I like the, the feeling of them better. I think they're a lot softer than these. I mean, these are still soft. They're really soft still, but these just, I don't know. I think I like these ones better. So this is how you're going to find them in the store. And then they open up to be about this big. And then the ones from five below, you get two of them in a box for $5. So they're two fifty dollars each, where this is a dollar each, but that's the size comparison. But I th I'm pretty sure, like, I would choose this one. So, like, when I reach to do one to wash my face, it's gonna I'm going to reach for this first because I like it better. So, that's my viewpoint on those. But I like them all. They all work. They work really good about taking my makeup off my face. So, after I use those and get my makeup off my face, what I like to use are these cotton rounds. I love the cotton rounds from Dollar Tree. I use them all the time. And so, I use these. And then, in here, I have Witch Hazel. So, this comes from the cosmetic department at Dollar Tree. And it's got a pump style which I love so you don't have to pick up your bottle and like try to like you know pour it all out so you do this and you press down on it and then it gets it on your your pads or on whatever it is you're using so I have this I have my witch hazel in it that I use on my face as my astringent upstairs in my bathroom and then in my craft area I actually have one of these two that I put rubbing alcohol in that I use when I'm crafting so like if I'm going to put a decal on something plastic you rub it down with alcohol first to make sure that they like, got all the oils and stuff so that the vinyl sticks better so I love these a lot. So if whatever I find uses for them, I, I'll use them because I like that pump style. I think it's really good. So both of these I love from the Dollar Tree. Now these, the blemish patches, I've seen people say that they really like them. Um, Pookie from Pookie's View, her name's Lisa, I think, but um, from Pookie's View, she has reviewed these and she said that they work for her daughters and her house, but they didn't do anything for me, like at all. Like not a single thing when I've had a blemish. So not really a fan of these i wouldn't repurchase them i know they have some different ones out right now from um that really big bolero and they're cute they have like stars hearts and circles and i feel like they're very similar thing you would probably want to look at the ingredients to see but for me it doesn't do anything so maybe those ones work better i don't know but yeah nope not a fan of those this this again is a name brand product i haven't seen this in the stores in a while either but i just wanted to know i did not like this at all it starts off really hard and then it gets really soft when you get it wet and it, to me it felt really slimy and gross so not a fan That's, since i don't see them in stores i'm not going to talk much more about that um i do have masks that i like to use at night sometimes there i have a clay mask that i absolutely love so it's just you know all that clay you put it all on your face and i bought this i got sick of getting it all on my fingernails and stuff so i got this applicator to use so i started using this to actually put on the clay mask and i love this i think it's great it keeps your fingers a lot cleaner it comes right off of this this scrapes the sides and it gets it all out of like the containers really good so i love this and then i use these once i'm done with the the mask or once it's all dry to, to wipe them off. So this one's used so it's hard because you know they always get a lot harder just like like sponges in your kitchen. And then these are just two that are fresh. So I love all of these products for like masks that I use in the evening every so often. I did get this razor. So this one is pretty new, new-ish. It's the Assured Women's Razor. It's got three blades and it came with three cartridges. One and a handle. So it wasn't terrible. I would use it in a pinch. I prefer my regular razor better, but I feel like that's just kind of how everything is, is you prefer like your normal better than you do something that's different. It's only got the three blades where mine has five, and I feel like, you know, the five blades just are a little bit better. I use the Chic Quattro Quatru Quatru um, regularly, but this one was all right. Like, I didn't hate it. I used it for probably a week actually when I was in between razors so it's perfect for something like that I was really having trouble finding refills for my razor and so I ultimately ended up having to order them online and have them delivered and in the meantime I had this and I was using it and it was all right like I didn't hate it so 
not my favorite, not the worst. If I would, I would like to have them on hand if I ever have a guest come and they might need a razor. I think that this would be a really nice thing to give them to be able to use because it's not as bad as, you know, like just the regular disposable ones. So in general, not, not terrible. And I am, I have a lot of things and not a lot of time still, or I've been going for a long time. Sorry about that. This one is a leave-in conditioner, not a leave-in. This is a deep conditioner. So you use it in the shower. I got the coconut oil and keratin, and I loved it a lot. So it says for damaged hair, and you buy them in a pack like this. I got two uses out of it, and I used a lot each of the times. I probably could have got three, even maybe four uses out of it had I rationed it a little bit better. But after I used this, my hair was really soft, so I did actually buy more to use, which will probably be in an upcoming haul because I haven't hauled those yet. So I love these. I like them a lot. I would continue to use those. Now, as far as cleaning my makeup brushes, I have been using this pineapple that I got in the Fun Finds section, and now they have them um, as well in like a plastic bag, like a by Sassy, by Sassy and Chic, as opposed to like on this, like a Fun Find. So what it does is it has the little suction cups on the back, and so you suction that onto your sink, and then I have been using just my um, hand soap, so it's the, the orange antibacterial hand soap, and I use that to get in there and get like the makeup out and then you know just rub it on here to get all the makeup out of it and then once I think that they're pretty close to clean I then use this the makeup brush cleaner so this says it's a rinse, rinse, rinse free formula but to be honest I still rinse it and get all that out of there because I don't I don't know I just don't want this stuff in my makeup brushes but I love both of these and just like um, hand soap to wash all my makeup brushes and I feel like they come out really clean so I would buy more of these, but this one's fine. I don't need to have a whole collection of them, but really do both, like both of those. And then on the day-to-day -day basis, when I'm using my makeup brushes, I have this. And so in here, and it's dirty because I haven't washed it yet, so it's got all the makeup on it. It's got like this coarse, kind of a dark, like a hard, spongy material. And so if you're going to like use like eyeshadow and you want to go from one color to another, but you want to use the same brush, you use this to wipe all the excess off and then it gets enough of the powder out so you can use another color and it actually works really well so oh goodness so if you look in there I need to wash this out there's a bunch of powder in the bottom because that's what it's taking out of my brushes and so there yeah you can see it that way so I think that this works great and I, I use it every single day which is why I haven't probably washed it now because it's like literally like a daily thing that I use to get all the excess powders out of my brushes. It does say on here not for use for liquid makeup. So if you have a brush and you use your foundation with it, you don't use it for that, but you use it for your powders. And I love it. If you ever see these, I highly recommend them. I think it's awesome. For traveling, I bought these and I love them. Two of them, I've used up all the stuff that I had in there and um, washed them out. And this I think is my face wash in there. So I have a face cleanser I use in the shower. You know, it's in a big like squeeze thing and I don't always feel like when I'm going on a trip, I need to take that entire thing. It takes up a lot of room. You try to save up as much room. Sometimes if you are not checking a bag and you just want everything to be able to go through TSA, these are awesome. You just collect what you need in these, toss them in your toiletry bag. So this one, like I said, is face wash. The last time I traveled, I think I did leave-in deep, I did a deep conditioner in this one because I have the L'Oreal, the big deep conditioner that I got from Dollar Tree actually that I really like. Um, and I put that in this because I wanted to take it with me to be able to deep condition my hair while I was traveling. And then to be honest, this one I don't know if I've used yet, but you know, if you want like a, a certain kind of lotion or like a, you know, your foot cream or something like that, like it would be good for that. So I love these. They're the perfect size. They fit so nicely in your toiletries. They're great for traveling. So these are Rembrandt whitening strips. I have used them off and on. I used some luminescence or something. I, I found it online. It was an expensive like kit that I used to get my teeth white. And then I've been using these as kind of my upkeep along with a charcoal toothbrush that I got at Dollar Tree with whitening toothpaste just to keep my teeth white because I feel like the, the, I, it, the, the stuff I used worked really, really well. And then just to keep the upkeep, I've been using these periodically like a few days in a row. So I've been buying them and this comes with enough treatments for two days, four strips, two treatments. So enough for two days. And so just using them off and on this one, this is what they look like inside. I haven't used this one yet. And for a dollar for, you know, 50 cents a treatment, I think that that's awesome and worth it. So I've been picking those up just like as my upkeep. I will eventually get like the whole kit. It's like a natural like whitener and I like that as opposed to like the I don't know the bleach and stuff that they use in here, but I like that a lot. 
Um, let me, I want to finish this video out here soon and then I'll restart again and do like another one so that that way you can pick and choose what you want to watch. So I'm going to finish out with all this kind of health and beauty stuff and then I'll do kitchen and different kind of stuff differently. All right, so I have LA Colors Nails and that is what I currently have on right now. So far, they've lasted me several days. I will say this one I bent. It didn't break, but it bent forward and I had to kind of pop it back up. I was doing laundry and I went to push down on the, the nozzle to, to get the laundry detergent out and I, I really do just use my, the tip of my thumb all the time with my nail and this didn't withstand that, so it, it bent. But other than that, I haven't had any trouble with these at all. I used just the super glue. Actually, hold please. This super glue, except for the one that's missing, because right here in the corner it says nails on it, so it says that that's what you can use it for. If you did see my haul, it's actually the one with my giveaway in it, where I, I did actually uh, glue my fingers together in the process of trying to do my nails. It all came off, all the super glues off my fingers now, but it was a funny situation. But yeah, I mean, I like these LA Color ones. I haven't tried to compare them to the Kiss or the, the Sassy and Chic yet, but I do have both of those. So once these ones are done, I will probably work on using some of those other brands so I can kind of know the comparison. But these LA Color ones, I would say are a win. My one gripe or my one thing is I didn't pay a lot of attention to the shape. So these have like a little bit of a point and I'm more of a square nail person. And so these points have kind of taken a little bit of getting used to because I don't usually have my nails at a point, but it, it's not bad. Like, I mean, I feel like I do shellac whenever I possibly can. And I, I feel like these remind me of just having shellac on my nails. So I like them. I think that they're worth it. Definitely worth the $2. One thing I would probably do is buy two packages because this comes with 12 nails. So the two extras are in there. And some of them I feel like like a different one would fit just a little bit better. But overall, I feel like they all fit, you know, pretty decent. So maybe I'd buy two packs and then kind of intermix them that way. But overall, I, I like them a lot. All right, I have makeup here. And like I said, the name brand makeups, these are still some that I keep seeing in stores. And so I'll quickly kind of go through my impressions of a lot of them. So one is this Hard Candy Eyeliner. This one says it's a soft glide long wear eyeliner. The color is shimmer. It's got kind of like a purpley color to it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like the way it goes on. I like the way it stays on. This isn't my regular day-to-day -day one, but I've been just using it in between just like because I want to do something different and have a little bit of a different color, but it's not so, so different that it like makes my eyes look like I'm like from the 80s or anything like that. So I like this a lot. I would repurchase this if I seen it. I at least have one more in my stash so that that way when this one runs out, I have another one. I haven't seen it in this color again though. So I like that one. I bought this one. It says that it is waterproof black. I used this when I was in Las Vegas on one of the days I went on a pool day and I didn't like it. I didn't like the way it went on and I can't remember if it had ran or not. I'd have to try it again. I just remember my impression of it was, oh, I don't like this as much as I thought I would. Uh, tomorrow, actually, I'm probably going to do a pool day with the kids. So maybe I'll try this just to do one more test just to see if if there's another impression I have of it. And if I change my mind and if I decide I do like it, I'll come back and say that. If I continue to not like it, I'll just leave it at that. But so that one I wasn't a huge fan of. I have this, and by the way, these are all open. I just stuck them back in the packaging so you can know what you're looking for when you go in the store. So this is a lip scrub and treatment. It's hard candy. I was so excited to find this. I picked up two because I had thought I would like it and I love it. So I'm glad I picked up two. So it's got the sugar scrub on one side. You rub that in your lips. You let it kind of, let's see, it says apply, scrub, apply as you would lipstick, scrub in circular motions, and then you gently wipe away the excess with a tissue, and then you treat after you scrub. So it's kind of like a lip gloss on the other side. So if you want to see what it looks like. So the scrub side, it looks like that because I've used it. So it's kind of all pressed in. It's really soft. Maybe my house was hot that day, but it was really, really soft when I put it on. And there's quite a bit in there, so that's all of it. And then the treat side is kind of like a, a gloss. doesn't have any smell to it or anything, but it felt really soft on your lips. So I really liked this. I would, I would continue to use or buy that if I seen it again. You heard me on my haul of these. I picked up four of them when I bought them. I love this translucent powder. 
This is just the sheer translucent matte powder. There's like a banana powder out too, which I would love to find, but I haven't found that one yet. Just this one, but I love this. I think it's great. I, it's my finishing powder now every day when I put on my makeup, so I totally dig that. I would highly recommend it. I grabbed these Revlon Flesh foundations, and I feel like they're really heavy. They look great, I think, for when I am doing hauls and like I'm on camera because it's got like that really like thick, full coverage heaviness to it. But I didn't like it just like for daily wear. So I one of these is my color. I honestly can't remember which one I found, but one of these, it's cookie and French toast. And I can't remember which one like matched, but one of them matched really well. So it did have a really good match. But for me, and I like probably more medium coverage, medium to kind of full or buildable. I like the buildable. And I just felt like it was way too heavy on my skin. So not a huge fan of this one. Um, great though, like if there's anything you like, you really need like full coverage for. So like pictures or anything like that. And if you've found this and bought it, let me know what your thoughts are. Cause I'm really curious actually if I'm the only one that feels that way about how heavy it is or if anyone else feels the same way. So please, please comment below and let me know. And then this one is the Maybelline Super Stay. So this is not my color whatsoever. It's really dark and I know that. So I was using it as a contour and it's almost too soft to use as a contour. I really want to find this in my color because I think I'd really like it as a full cup, like as a all over um, foundation. It says it's full coverage, but it didn't feel as heavy, at least in my little bit of use of it as the flesh. Um, but I couldn't say for sure because I wasn't able to use it as an all over foundation. I was just using it, you know, as a contour here and here. And, and so I liked it like that. I liked the blender on the bottom of it. I thought that that was great, especially since I was using it as a contour, it made it easy to blend in as I used it. But, uh, I wish I could find my color. I still haven't still looking. I have this wet and wild blush and it's really just a blush. It's kind of a peachy color. It's probably not my perfect color. However, the reason I wanted to show it is I accidentally peeled off the back sticker and it, what it did was it revealed another back sticker, which is all in like Chinese. So I just found that really, really, really interesting that this is completely and totally in Chinese. And it makes me kind of wonder like, why are we getting these products at the Dollar Tree? Are they not selling in China? So they're sending them here and then placing other stickers on top. I don't know. I mean, it's not enough to stop me from using it because a lot of our stuff we buy is made in China anyway. But I just found it really interesting. So I just wanted to show that discovery that I made, that there was a, a whole other label under the other label that I accidentally discovered. And so that way you can, you know, have your own thoughts on it. I used this in my last video. So if you see my last one, I was wearing this as my lipstick. It's um, colored lip balm. And I actually really liked it a lot. It didn't leave a, much of a color at all. It was really light and faint, but it felt really good on the lips. So I would buy this again. It's the Remy Rose. And this color was Gracie. And knowing how light it is, I would maybe look at some of the other colors too and pick those up because I liked that a lot. I held this in my last video and I'm using it today. It's the Sherbert color of the hard candy cashmere silk. I was wondering then what I would think of Demi Matte and I actually really like it. It's not too sticky like a full gloss is, but it's not too matte like a full matte. So I actually really liked it. I do need probably a lip liner with it or something just to kind of add a little bit of definition to it because it didn't have a lot of color. So this, I feel it on my lips still, but when I was putting it on, and maybe it's just cause it's a really light color but I like the feeling on my lips. So this, this one's a win. I would continue to wear this. I like it a lot. I got this highlighter. It is hard candy. I think it's Fox in a box and it's baked highlighter. And this one is the Pina Colada and it smells really good. Yeah. Fox in a box, glamor girl, marbleized baked highlighter. And like I said, this one smelled like Pina Colada smells really good and I really like it as my highlighter. So I have a hard time. I don't like to make my, I have oily skin, so I don't like to make my skin shinier than it needs to be. And I feel like this is like the right level of highlighter for me. I've gotten some from the Dollar Tree that are like, whew, like they are shiny and I mean beautiful, but a, a lot of shine to them. And I think this one has that nice, like not quite too much shine, but like a decent amount of shine. So I like this a lot. It's probably one of my favorites. This is a really pretty eyeshadow. It's the hard candy. It's just the one. It's super smooth when you get it out of here. Swatch it. 
it's just it's pretty it's smooth it's just got kind of like a faint light pink whitish kind of just shimmer to it and I liked it a lot so that's one that you know I, I like to have on hand it's probably not my daily use because my other two that I'm going to show you are have become my daily use but I like this one so if you come across it and you like kind of that like light color it's great this is the infallible ink color and this one is in um rose chrome so it reminds me kind of of a rose gold color this has become one of my favorite favorite eyeshadows i'm wearing it today i always do a purple over it though so some of the times you see the purple more swatch of this i feel like it's such a pretty kind of like a rose gold color really it's really hard to see in this light but it's right here i love this i if I find it again at Dollar Tree, I'm picking it up. I haven't been able to, and I have even looked it up to find it other places just to pay regular price for it that I like it so much. So this is my favorite. Like, I love, love, love this. And then this one, I'll show you the one I haven't opened yet. It's Oink, and it's just a little one um, palette or one eyeshadow from Hard Candy. Again, I love this one. So it's got the three colors in it, and it really comes across a lot whiter. So, like, even though there's the brown and the pink in there, like, so I use this as my highlighter color like right under my my eyebrow but I can't show you the one I'm using because it broke I took it with me when I went to Las Vegas and it broke during traveling but so you could see it on my eyes it's right here under my brow I just absolutely love this like it is my absolute favorite and real quick just two more things that I will show during this and then I'm going to do another one so come back and watch that one I'm just going to do it as soon as I'm done with this but that way they're separated and this isn't super super long so I got this at Five Below. It is a blue Bluetooth speaker, and I love it. It's made for the shower, so it's water resistant. And so I like to listen to true crime, and I've said that before, and I've linked my favorite true crime people below on other videos. It's Bailey Sarian, Stephanie Harlow, and Kendall Ray. I love all three of them and the way they tell their stories. And when I'm getting ready in the morning, I like to get one going. I listen to it while I shower. I listen to it from here when I'm doing my makeup. And it just like makes it, you know, so it's just a little bit easier to hear. So I absolutely love this. I would buy that again. And then lastly, I got this mirror from Five Below. And it has a light on it. And I don't know how I feel about it. So I got it and I feel like the light is kind of not great. It doesn't really do much. The mirror itself is really pretty, so like to have it just setting on like a, a shelf or something, I think is is fine. But as like a light mirror, not so good. So I'm gonna say that's my review for these products right now. I will come back around, just you know, watch for like my very next upload, and I'm gonna do some like kitchen and laundry type items just a little bit different items and that one will be a lot smaller because it's a lot less stuff and I have a, I have a lot of other things I want to review too so there will be more of these videos um, coming up in the future but I will just kind of space them out in with my hauls and stuff so please